Hey, Frick, you fire here. Welcome back to more Earth Man. The last part we took on the pyramids, now we're out of them. Um, pretty self explanatory, I guess. I'm not sure if it was a dungeon, man, but there's a strange looking tower to the northwest. This key I picked up a little while ago shall open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it. I knew that talking to natives was a good idea. So, whenever I see, like, a native man, I'm just gonna talk to him. Ask him for a key, maybe. Anywho, I am really mad right now because this is the third freaking time I've had to record this. I would have had it up early today, not, you know, 10 o'clock at night, or whenever I'm gonna upload this. But no, YouTube had to be, or not YouTube, Camtasia, my recording software had to be dumb. Anyway, I'm gonna go and sell stuff. And the reason why it didn't work is because for some reason I had, like, it all worked out how I wanted it to, you know, um, finish and stuff. And then it, um, like some, it didn't work, okay, basically, it screwed up the commentary and all that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and buy some stuff. Um, I came here for multi-bottle rockets, but the french fry pan and crun crusher beam's interesting to me. By the way, this is post-commentary, um, it's just easier to do it this way. And because I'm thinking about doing post-commentary for the rest of this game, just cause it's more convenient, I guess. Um, like just over for an RPG because there's tons of cuts and stuff like that which is why the thing got screwed up so much like the um the well you know never mind it's kind of hard to explain but yeah basically I'm mad right now this video would have been up like earlier today like four o'clock but no it's had to screw up and I don't even know how it did it's just like some retarded error and I'm just buying tons of multi-baller rockets right now Let's see here though, um, I guess we should probably head to where the guy said to go, which was northwest. To a big tower. That's dungeony. And that is way too many enemies. Anywho, this is the Murado Octobot. Um, he's a basically a simple enemy, he just attacks. And I don't think he does anything that's like a uh, status effect or something. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Ooh, Polly level up. Polly, you and your level up, girl. Yeah, yeah, I like them level up. Ooh, hey, look, it's a giant dungeon. Looks like a man. Maybe that's what the guy was talking about. And I just went ahead and cut that fight out, and now I'm going to use the key on this dude. Man, I'm so mad about that, though. I mean, ugh. Wait, we're inside his body. Ew. I feel like I've heard that name before. Brick Road, maybe. Maybe it was a cardboard sign somewhere. Anyway, these are three old enemies that we've already fought, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this fight out. Because it's, you know, we've already fought these dudes. I don't. This is a really easy dungeon. Um, it's basically just enemies that we've already fought before that are, like, pretty easy now. And I went ahead and saved because I haven't done that in a while, so it'd probably be a good idea to do it. Yeah, yeah, Dad's creating a record and whatnot. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, Dad, you create them records. But yeah, this is basically like a pit stop area, I guess, since you just went through the pyramid. Um, you can put away all your money. You can save, rest on that bench, which I think I actually do. Yeah. As soon as friends' health is restored, yay! Alright, um... Dang. Uh, I kept these board line, Brick Road. Yeah, but I feel like I've seen that name before, like, on a billboard sign in Winters. I'm not sure if I just said that, and what did we just fight that was only 6 XP? Anywho, this is a hospital, um, I didn't, I forgot to show up before, but, uh, you can go here if you want to rest and whatnot. And also, if you notice, it has a red cross, and that is like the only hospital in the game that still has a red cross that Nintendo of America forgot to cut out, or not cut out, but like replace. Um, because I think in the Japanese version, there was all red crosses, but Nintendo took them out and just put, well, Nintendo of America took them out and just put like the word hospital, and I guess probably for like copyright or something, I don't know. 
But yeah, it's kind of an interesting little fun fact. Pit stop. Wait, we can actually use this bathroom? Oh, uh, no. I wonder why I'm in this restroom right here. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous. Don't worry. Wait, how did he get in here? He didn't have a key. Or she, or whatever that is. We're the only ones with the key. Unless the native guy is making multiple keys. Wait, wait a minute. How did the guys in the hospital get here? That's... Dang it. I thought we were special. Anywho, um, this dungeon is basically a douchebag, is the best way to describe it, and is that present floating? Oh well. Um, it fill it's filled with tons of presents, and most of them don't do anything, or they'll do something, but it's just not useful at all. Some of them, there's like, two, um, items in here that you actually want to get. One of them is this super plush bear, which is basically just an upgrade to the teddy bear. The other one we'll be getting soon. Wait, no. Well, actually, I guess a couple life needles is kind of useful, so that makes three items. Now, this game sort of lags a bunch when there's lots of enemies on screen. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, um, I kind of forgot where the third present I want to get is, so I just eventually start looking for through like every present. And you take this ladder up, there's four, uh, four different choices, but this is the one you want to take. Once again, the other ones are just douchebags and leave to presents that don't do anything. So, you know, you're tempted to go through all of them, and nothing happens. When you do. Because this game is a jerk. Um. Ooh, ten dollars. Don't get spend it all in one place, Nessie boy. I'm not too sure why I just went in circles, but... I don't know. Anyway, this is a new enemy. Um, I kind of freaked out when I fought him. These guys can diamondize you, which basically is like them killing you because it makes it so your guys can't do anything. Like if he diamondizes like Ness, then he can't attack, he can't do anything. He's just there, so it's like he's pretty much dead, like theoretically, except for you can heal it with probably PSI healing, whatever the third one is. I think it was Omega. Could have been Gamma, Sigma, whatever other things there are. I think that's it, though. Alpha, Beta, Omega, Gamma, and Sigma. Wait, I don't even know if Sigma's the one, actually. Oh, I'm sort of talking to myself now. Anywho, um, something that I kind of want to talk about real quick, so I didn't get a, talk, uh, a chance to talk about it before, was Nintendo's E3. Like, I did talk about it, just not a lot. Um, alright, well, I kept on getting interrupted and lost my train of thought. Um, like I said, my, uh, Skyward Sword, like, uh, thought video. I really liked it. Um, I thought they did a great job. Like, definitely, uh, you know, pass a competition, which was Sony and Microsoft. It's kind of weird because usually they're the ones throwing out, like, the, like, Halo, Gears of War, Killzone, stuff like that. Well, I guess they have Killzone 3, but, um, this time they were just kind of like, yeah, we connect, at or not we connect, I connect animals! PlayStation Move! It's kind of funny because they basically just, well, I, I guess Microsoft sort of copied the iToy, which I think was on the PlayStation, and then PlayStation just flat out copied the Wiimote. I mean, they didn't even, like, try to disguise it. Well, I guess they put a little glowing ball at the top. But yeah, like, I really liked uh, the fact that GoldenEye was coming out, but it wasn't a surprise because the trailer of it was leaked the night before Nintendo Z3, and is that a face on the wall? What? This is mine, feel free to talk to it, Brick Road. Okay. I feel like... Yeah, we've met this guy before, haven't we? Well, Jeff met this guy. Welcome! Long time no see, Mr. Jeff. We met in Winters a long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Brick Road, Dr. Andrew has finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, uh, I kind of went too fast in the text. Anyway, let's go ahead and go down the return hole. But yeah, like, the trailer for GoldenEye was leaked um, the night before Nintendo Z3 thing, so I already knew that was coming. Well, sort of. I didn't think they would mention it, but they did. And then Donkey Kong Country Returns, I wasn't expecting at all, and that kind of really excites me, because that was like a huge game I played as a child. Well, that and GoldenEye. And then, um, Kirby Epic Yarn, I think it's called, which is kind of a clever play on words, was also a pretty uh, big surprise, too. I think the one that I wasn't expecting the most was Kid Icarus. Like, I mean... I was thinking they would make a game of it, but not this soon, and I'm not sure if I like it. And this is the other useful item, the IQ capsule. 
But I'm not sure if I'm like if I like it yet because it seems sort of like a shooter or like a on the rail shooter, which isn't really something I'm a fan of. Well, I do. It's just not. I just don't think that those are worth like 35 bucks because I don't really have like a lot of. I uh, don't really know what to say. That's just not my type of game, I guess. Um. Anywho, when you leave, the dungeon man follows you, which is kind of extremely epic. I mean, we got rid of Pooh. Well, didn't get rid of him. He left us, sort of. And we got a giant brick man to follow us. I'd say it's a fair trade. I mean, he's not Asian, but it works. Anywho, we're out of time for this video. If you liked it, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.